Wow, so Mullen just dropped the hammer on everyone. And today I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on what's going on and why they did this. Drop a like if you want to. None of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just gonna give you my opinion and tell you exactly my game plan moving forward. I plan to still make Mullen content even after today's news of the reverse stock split. So if you want to hear more about Mullen moving forward, if you're a holder, if you plan on buying or even selling Mullen, go ahead, subscribe. We'd love to have you because I will be making updates every single day. First of all, reverse stock splits are never good. And the reason for that is it doesn't look good on the company. It looks like this company isn't doing anything. Um, they're not going to be successful. They're, they're, they're really just a broke crap company, basically. So this is very unfortunate that Mullen would announce this right now. But you have to think about Mullen and what they have been building and what they have been doing. So I'm not here to tell you to remain bullish or bearish. I'm here just to give you my opinion and for you to decide what you think you're going to do from here. The reason I got invested in Mullen Company is because one, they were in the EV sector. And I thought their story was very unique. It's different than other companies. Yes, I know HLBZ did a reverse stock split. Cosm did a reverse stock split. I looked into those companies a little bit, but it's nothing like what Molin has. It doesn't have the opportunity like Molin has, right? So I think it's very strategic for Molin to do what they did today. Now, I did not think that they would announce the split today. I really did think that we would get past this week and then we knew next week they couldn't announce a reverse stock split according to their 8K. It couldn't be five trading days prior to May 15th, I believe, or May 12th, which would, be, would have been all of next week. And then I would have thought if they don't split, then they're going to hold out until September. And this stock price is going to naturally grow as they keep putting out good news. And they've been putting out good news. So I don't know exactly why they decided to split today. Actually, they're going to be splitting on the 4th tomorrow, basically, May 4th tomorrow. But I think it is strategic of them because Maybe this is the last puzzle piece that they want to get rid of so that they can be compliant on the NASDAQ. They look more attractive to larger institutions. Don't forget last week institutions were buying more Molin stock. And for Molin putting out all this news that they have just been putting out the $63 million deal, they just gave an update on everything they're accomplished so far and that they're starting production in July. I do think it's better than them just announcing a reverse stock split without putting out any news. So I do trust Molin, even though that's hard to say. And the only reason that I'm saying I trust them is because they put out good news before they announced this split. If they didn't put out any news and they announced the split, then no. So let's say they split at seven cents. That's gonna give us a price of $1.75. The next question you have to ask yourself is, when we do split, because the split is coming, it's already done, do I believe that they will stay above a dollar or do I think dilution is going to happen? Do I think shorting is going to happen? Do I think we're going to get under a dollar again so that we're not NASDAQ compliant? And I just don't think that's going to be the case. But looking at the other side of things is Molin could be a scam company. You know, this could all be fake news. They could be getting everybody in just to get the price over a dollar, just to short it again, just to dilute it more. Now the problem is if they're diluting the stock and they're not using that for production, that's coming up because they just got to deal with Randy Marion. And the other thing is why I got to stay optimistic is Randy Marion is a very credible company. So do you think Randy Marion is also in on the scam that Mullen is pulling? So again, you got to do a deep dive on this and really think, is this a good company that you want to hold for the next 12 months at least, right? Because this was the worry that everybody had. I literally said it in today's video. I talked about the reverse stock split this morning. I said, this is a big concern for people. Well, now it's official. They did it. So congrats to all the bears. You called it 20, uh, a one for 25 split. And that's what it is. But the question is, can Mullen still win? At the end of the day, can Mullen succeed? Maybe this now will bring in more investors. Maybe they'll stop shorting it so much. Maybe Mullen will actually get the respect it deserves, in my opinion, because of everything they've been building and what they have been doing. But what do you think? Let me know down below. Give me your honest opinion. I know this freaking sucks. We're down 16% now. We're actually trading at all-time lows, okay? 
But let me show you the charts real quick because if you know how I've been with Mullen stock, I have been holding a long term bag, but I've also been trading Mullen stock and I've been increasing my share count and I've been actually putting it back into a stock called Palantir. And I made some videos on that before. So I have a very unique way that I trade Mullen stock and what I, what, the way I trade Palantir and, and my goals for Mullen company. But again, I'm still bullish on Mullen company. They're doing all the right things. They're marketing their products, they're selling their products. They just announced production starting in July. They've announced that they're hiring more people for production. So is that all smoke and mirrors or is this a real thing and is Mullen gonna be a real company and are they actually gonna thrive in the EV space? That's the question we gotta ask each other. Let me know down below. Okay, so now as we're looking at the charts, you can see big red candle spiked down once they announced that news. Scare tactic, I believe, got people out, maybe. Okay, so we're trading at 6.8 now, back at the old time lows. We actually, the important thing is, we gotta see where we close. And today we have an FOMC meeting, so that's gonna be very interesting to see what happens. But you can see right here, we are still making positive divergence, where the stock price has been crashing down, but the RSI has been making higher lows. So that's another reason why I have to stay optimistic and why I'm not selling at this area, okay? Um, the other thing is the stochastic right there is just trading in the middle. It's trying to figure out what to do. So if, if we come down, then yes, expect this to crash even more. Okay. Now my thought would be they would want to push the stock up a little bit before they split. Maybe get this back up to those red lines that I was looking at that I've been sharing with everyone. Okay. So we can get a little higher than $1.75. But this is really the situation now. So it's a decision making time for you. You got to decide what you want to do. You're either in the company or you're not. Um, I think Mullen will have a lot of great trading opportunities in the future, and that's why I'm staying in it, to increase my share count, to take some profit, to put it back into Palantir and other stocks as we move along. But this is really what the charts are looking like right now. It's important, I would say, that we hold above the all-time low. But that's really it. Either Mullen is here to stay and to build a company and to keep building and that's why they announced it today so they can get rid of this and get back on the NASDAQ, be compliant, everything's good moving forward or they really are out here to mess with people and to reverse split just to dilute more, just to get this thing shorted more. That's the question, what's gonna happen next? I do believe that Mullen is doing the right things with building a business. I don't think this is the right time to announce the split, but for some reason they do. The only positive thing I could see from it is that they've been putting out good news the last couple of weeks to show their investors that they are doing the right things, they're making the right moves, they're getting deals, and they're moving forward as a company. So when I look at that, it's like, okay, Mullen, do your thing. If this is what you're gonna do, this is what you're gonna do. For me, I have my own plan with Mullen. You gotta have a game plan. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.